growth hormone therapy follow-up. When a child is started on growth hormone, as I told you, we'll have the education done for you. And within a month to few weeks, we'll bring the child back when we'll make sure that there are no side effects early on. And we'll also make sure the child's growth potential is all maintained. And if there's any other questions for you to answer. Subsequently, it will be every three months we'll be following the child's growth and you will have to keep up your appointment. Compliance in therapy and compliance in appointment is extremely important because as I told you, it's a very prolonged process and it's a partnership between your family and our services. If the appointments are not kept and if the labs are not done appropriately, it will make us very difficult to um, uh, reauthorize growth hormone because growth hormones will be reauthorized by the insurance company every six months to one year depending on what the insurance companies are. Um, we will do the bone age excess every six months to one year as the need might be. We might be doing blood tests almost every three months. Sometimes we might uh, add few extra tests. Sometimes we'll do less. It will be based on our uh, evaluation of the child. We will be assessing the puberty as needed because some children will need higher dose of growth hormone during puberty. Dosing for growth hormone will vary upon, upon the reason why we started growth hormone. Sometimes if there is a mild abnormality in the MRI, we might have to repeat the MRI. So it is extremely important that you keep up your child's appointment when the child is uh, started on growth hormone. In the next video, I'll be talking about the other causes of growth hormone therapy other than growth hormone deficiency. Thank you.